Okay, okay, okay. I've been pretty much useless the last couple days, so punishing myself to many, many chores. Cleaning, cleaning. This place needs some cleaning and laundry and groceries and no fun at all for Greg. Maybe a little. It's just a quick update. Um, Simi is here and we are working on cosplays. We did a live stream. That's also why I have this because I'm wearing a cap. And we had some tomato. Someone wants to be in the video. Hi. <laughs> so that's Simi. My cat's here too. Wait, here. <laughs> okay. In a second. Um, anyway, our dishwasher broke down. That's why everything's standing around. Um, we had tomato salad and two slices of pizza. A little bit of kitty cat. Uh, do a live stream. And we're going to bed now. So that's the update from me for today. Say bye. Hey. Bye. Bye. All right, so I just finished my 5K. I don't know if you guys can hear me through the, through the wind, but it was really funny. I was stretching and I do a lot of hip stretches. Um, that's very important, by the way, if you're a runner, you need to stretch the hips um, because we sit for so long that uh, we don't have that full range of motion that we should. And so, yeah, you gotta stretch the hips. But I was bending down, uh, stretching my hips in the like, what do they call the primal squat? And someone stopped and asked if I was okay because they thought maybe I was sick or something like that. So I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> but 5K is done. Oh, <laughs> still there. Uh, when I forgot, I did work out before Sumi came here and I don't know how many steps I got because I took it off in between, but uh, workout wise was a okay day. So yeah. Not sure how the uh, works, uh, not sure how the food stuff worked though. I didn't eat much before dinner. I think I had eggs this morning. So, calorie wise, I should be in the limit, but you know, the usual. <sighs> Sorry, being attacked by mosquitoes. I did nothing I said I was going to do yesterday, so I was now up at uh, 4.30 in the morning doing the things I was going to do yesterday. In other words, I spent the last, oh goodness, 45 minutes cleaning and uh, there's more to be done. Yay for that. All right, woke up this morning, got in my healthy breakfast, my healthy AM snack, uh, made my beans for my lunch today and then I'm about to get in my actual workout and just focus on taking care of myself. This morning's getting away from me. Oh, I did get some cleaning done. Got all the bathrooms clean, both of them. They both needed it and uh, Ah, oh, because of my sheer laziness and my overconsumption, I am going to have an incredibly low calorie day. I mean, we're talking, I'm even working at home, I'm going to have a bulletproof tea. And then I think for dinner or my midday meal, I'm going to have a chef salad, blue cheese dressing, maybe 900 calories. We'll see how hungry I get. I don't know. I just finished my workout and my leg is shaking. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my goodness, uh, it won't stop. Uh, but anytime that you're working on building any type of muscle, you wanna make sure that you fatigue that muscle um, because the pushing past is what's going to make you stronger and um, fit and always moving towards the direction of fitness um, improvement that you want to reach. I can really admit to it. I had a, too many carbs like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday evening, I had these little bagel bite thingies. Saturday, I had Mexican food. Sunday, I had potatoes and Cheetos. So, I don't know why I did all that. So, today, what we're doing is we're, I'm having one meal said bulletproof and salad. I had bulletproof, but I'm having, this is the leftover chicken, throwing some cheese on it, some grass-fed hot dogs. So my entire day is actually gonna be about 1,400 calories instead of the 900.
We were building a lot of stuff today, but I did get a decent amount of sets, maybe 8k so far, but I haven't done my workout yet and it's really late. I don't really want to stress my neighbors too much because it was quite loud today. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I might just do like a 20 minute workout on YouTube, which I can do here because Okay, complicated. We have two wings, basically. This, and then it's like a 90 degree corner and over in that part underneath, there are the neighbors. So I'm not over there, I'm in the other part, but you're also sleeping already. So this is kind of challenging. Maybe I just do sit-ups or something, or I don't know, up and down and up and down. Anyway, I'm gonna move for about, I would say 20 minutes somehow, watch, something and then be awake for the next two hours stupid idea i know but well timing you know anyway all those carbs took a toll the other day 101 point three on the ketones so at least we're heading back the right direction well three straight days of carbs as I mentioned, um, but yeah, 24 hours of low carb and I'm back to 0.3. Uh, I think that's just a testament of being somewhat fed adapted and we'll be checking it again tomorrow. I'm going to go very low carb today again. Um, and yeah, so it happens. <laughs> sometimes you just have like one little choice or event or something that kind of throws you way off track. It felt like I had that moment on Friday when I decided to partake in some vodka, which in turn made me, even though it's a very carb-friendly alcohol, it made me like need to have, that's why I had those little, uh, they were pretzel bites. I think I said bagel bites before, but with cheese in them, because it's like I just needed something because my stomach was like, ugh. And I just kind of was this downward spiral of, spiral of the weekend. So I'm going to punish myself this week. Remember I said I was going to talk about doing sculpting starting September 1st. No, I'm doing that today. This walk is just a warm-up. I am one sweaty mess. That thing kicked my butt. Okay, so I wanted to ask Kayla, what is some great advice to give to a beginner who is starting to run? Um, I would say don't think about like distance, think about how long can I carry on with this pace. I think that's very great advice. What do you guys think? It was good to get the weight training, I know, but now it's a few hours later and my entire body feels like jello and it feels like it just zapped my energy. Not enough of this in the world, I'm all out of this. Oops, I, s I forgot to, to record. Anyway, having cucumber salad for dinner. I have no idea what else I had today. I didn't track it. It wasn't a lot, but it was pretty busy today. So me just rambling in the kitchen. I can show you outside though. It was supposed to rain, but... You know, this place, there's no rain. The rain is a lie. <laughs>